everyone. Aaron and Kelly are back with another cheese review <laughs> from Don't Bring Anything. It appears all Aaron and I do is eat cheese and drink wine. I have been fortunate enough to have been sent a package of delicious cheeses from Beehive Cheese Company, which is located in Utah, is mm -hmm. that correct? Aaron and I did our research. Yep. Before filming this video, Beehive Cheese Company is in Utah. It was founded by brother-in-laws, Pat and Tim. They um, left their corporate America jobs to become cheese makers, which is something Aaron and I are now considering also <laughs> doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk you through the five different ones that we're going to try today. The first one is Sea Hive, which is sea salt and honey. Um, we have a smoked with apple and walnut. We have tea hive, which is black tea and bergamot. We have one that's rubbed with hatched chili. And then we have barely buzzed, which is espresso and lavender, which is a very unique combo. And we're serving these today um, on a white marble cheese board from RSVP International. Comes with this handy little knife. Erin doesn't even have to handle any packaging this time mm -hmm. around because we have this nice little display. And then I also have the white porcelain cheese markers from um, RSVP International as well. So thank you to them for supplying these. If you like any of the products that you see here, you can get the cheeses at beehivecheese.com and you can pick up any of our cheese accessories from rsvp-intl.com. So, we're gonna get started giving you our opinion, because that's what we do best. <coughs> Which one are we starting with, Erin? Looks like we're starting with smoked, smoked with apple and walnut. Oh, yes, that sounds good. All right, let's go for that one. Erin, the professional cheese cutter, <laughs> is going to cut us a little. Oh, okay. Thank Thick. you. Yeah, this one I noticed when I was opening it is a little more dense than the other ones, which is usually a good thing with cheese. I usually like that. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Has like an instant smoky flavor mm -hmm. to it. Very good. It reminds, it's like a gouda yep. type of smokiness. More walnut than apple. I agree. I'm not getting a ton of apple, but. It's good. It would be good paired with apple. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one. Go ahead, Aaron. I believe next we have sea hive, which is sea salt and honey. Mmm. Generally a combo I'm a fan of. Yes. This just is right up both of our alleys. I like the I like crumbly cheese. You know, like one that when you cut it it doesn't cut like into perfect squares. Yes, which is what is happening. Okay. Blame it on the cheese. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mmm. Yes. <laughs> it's like a little bit tangy. Yeah. But it's also nice sweet. and smooth. Yeah. A little bit sweet. You can definitely taste like the sea salt on there. These are like these are next level cheeses. Like, you're not going <laughs> to all these no. cheese. Yeah. The Barely Buzz, which is the espresso and lavender. And if I recall, when I had Aaron doing research on these cheeses while I was <clears throat> cutting the cheese, <laughs> cutting the cheese, <laughs> um, this one won like some awards, and Yes. A lot of them have, actually. At like the Cheese Society. Mmm. Maybe we should join that. <laughs> I, think, I think we're in the cheese society. I don't know. Are we supposed to have the rind on these ones? I remember some of the... I didn't see any warnings. Okay. So we're going to give it a go. I think I feel like this is probably part of the flavor. Okay. This is a big piece of cheese, Erin. <laughs> it's going to take a while to chew. Not Hold, me. please. <laughs> mm. Definite espresso. I taste lavender a lot, too. Which is a really trendy flavor. It's actually really good though. It reminds me a lot of the sea hive, but just with those like extra flavor. Yeah. This would go really good with like, I think like a red wine. Oh yeah. I'll eat it with a white wine, but <laughs> it would go nice with a red wine. Next is the rubbed with the hatch chili. Mm, it's a little bit of spice. Spice up your life. Mm. <laughs> Oh no. Oh god, Erin. Oh, no. 
RSVP International sends us this nice arrangement. Well, it holds up well. <laughs> this is Hatch Chili. Yes. Okay. Little zing. Mm-hmm. At the end. Mm-hmm. It's not overwhelming, though. Mm -hmm. Like, if... I've had some um, spicy cheeses that, like, you almost lose the cheese flavor because it's so... Spicy. This is very subtle. Yeah. That was a good one. I enjoy that very much. <laughs> Last one on the agenda. So far, we've been a fan of them all. Yeah. This is the tea hive. The black tea and... Burger... Burger... <laughs> I think it's bergamot. Bergamot. Sounds fancy. <laughs> Bergen. Just, Bergen. Jesus. Just a simple girl from Pittsburgh. I don't know what these things are. What kind of cheese is <laughs> on the internet? Hmm. This one's a lot like creamier. Yeah. What was a oh, black tea? I don't know what bergamot is, but. I like it. Uh, it tastes good. <laughs> oh no. We sound so uneducated. Cut to edit. We're gonna Google it. <laughs> Fragrant citrus fruit the size of an oil. Citrus fruit where there's oil taken from the peel of the fruit and it's used to make medicine. <laughs> I already feel cured of the cold I had. <laughs> um, I would say my favorite out of all of them was the hatch chili. I would say mine was the apple, the smoked apple walnut one. Yeah, that was good. All in all, Beehive, you have our seal of approval, thumbs up all around. Thank you so much for sending this. Erin and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And thank you to RSVP International for the lovely cheese accessories that helps make our video a little bit more legit than our last cheese review, which was just a pile of all these cheese on a janky cutting board. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to the blog if you like bomb ass recipes, and we'll see you next time. Bye.